Meanwhile, in Greenwich Village, breaking news right now at NYU, students who are protesting at Gould Plaza in front of the School of Business are facing a 4 o'clock deadline to leave the area. And you can see right now it is already three minutes past that. These are live pictures from the site, and it appears the protesters are still there. Newscopter 7 live overhead. Shannon Stone, what can you tell us? Yeah, in fact, they are still here. This is the NYU Palestine Solidarity Coalition that is standing alongside Columbia Students for Justice. And you can see that they are several hundred strong at this point. They have also set up encampments here just in front of the business school on West 4th Street near Green Street. Now, we've got some tape from the ground that we can show you just to give you an idea of what this looks like. Several dozen tents are set up, and of course, they are asking for the same things, demanding the university disclose and divest its finances and endowment from the, any of the campus manufacturers and such that have any ties with Israel. Of course, this is several hundred strong. As you mentioned, they have been told they got a message from NYU Mobile Campus Safety that they were to evacuate the campus by 4 p.m. And if they did that, there would be no action and no repercussions for their actions, of course. Places like this, NYU, as well as the New School in Columbia, are actually asking that they reverse disciplinary actions for anything related to pro-Palestinian activism. So we are here just after 4 o'clock waiting to see what happens. You are now seeing some movement down below, but at this point, everyone is still here a few minutes past that 4 o'clock deadline. Reporting live over Greenwich Village, Shannon Sohn, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Hey, Shannon, I was just wondering if I can ask you one quick question. Do you see police there? It, the, the statement that they released said no police if you leave by 4 o'clock, but I'm not sure if you can see any officers down there who are perhaps getting ready to start removing any of those students. You know, we have been watching for that as well, and what we've seen is mostly students at this point. If the police are there, they are off on the sidelines. I'm sure they are there in the background, but I think that they are trying to make this a soft 4 o'clock so as not mm -hmm. to ignite any more I I violence or any problems here. But 4 o'clock is that deadline. We'll just bring this shot out a little bit so that you can see what we're seeing here from Newscopter 7. We don't see the police activity. It doesn't mean that it's not there. All right. Shannon, keep us updated on the situation there. We very much appreciate it. All right. Meanwhile, at Yale University in Connecticut, hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters are blocking an intersection and chanting outside the Schwarzman Center there. This comes hours after at least 45 people were arrested on campus for a similar protest. And demonstrators gathered over the weekend to demand the university give up its investment in military weapons manufacturers. Yale police say anyone who refused to leave campus was charged with criminal trespass. University officials say students who were arrested will face disciplinary action.